Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of December 28th through January 23rd. We are just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Okay, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Plus, the timing is still fluid. So, Happy New Year. What do we have for Aries for the week ahead? What message do you have for Aries for the week ahead? Star. So the star is a card of wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. So a wish is going to be granted. Something that you have been sincerely hoping for, wishing for, and it's in your best interest, that wish is going to be granted. This is a card of guaranteed success. This is like a fairy godmother granting your wish. This is a card of a blessing, okay? You may be experiencing a tower moment or you have experienced a tower moment. This is help arriving to pick you up. Get prepared for a blessing, okay? It's a card of healing, okay? Shining, being put in the spotlight as well. You may be in the spotlight this week. two but we only got one and I guess we'll take those so what do we have for Aries ooh broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem you could, I think you, Gemini had this you could be dealing with a Gemini don't have to be but there is going to be some unsuccessful outcome that's reality Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with a dark complexion or dark hair. December. December is very prominent. So something could be happening before the end of the year. You need to, Or something could have happened in the month of December, this month, or in another year, you know, the month of December. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Um... Something to do with the month of December is very prominent for you. The wish is probably going to be granted in December, whether it's this year. I don't know. Could be next year. I don't know. But this is December. I feel like it's this year. Um, December is a very prominent month of, of, of getting something that you have been praying for because this is a prayer being answered. There is some sort of dark woman that is involved with this wish being granted and there is an unsuccessful outcome to a problem, but it is a blessing in disguise because this comes after the tower card. So something may have crashed, may have crumbled, may have hit the ground, you know, didn't didn't turn out the way that you had hoped, but it happened for a reason, it happened for a purpose, okay? Um what do we have for Aries? I feel like there's some sort of help arriving. There's help arriving to to help you clean up this mess, whatever it is. Four of Swords. Now this is the death of a person or idea. Okay, this is the end of something. You've been praying. You see the prayers and I see I feel it. You've been praying for something and they've heard your prayers and know that they have. I feel like you've been feeling alone, you've been feeling empty, you've been feeling, well, uh, maybe even dead inside, you've been, you've been really hoping for some sort of, it feels like freedom from some sort of suffering, I feel like you've been suffering over something, it feels like there's been some suffering because of the three of swords, there could be some heartache, some pain, you've been, some, you've been suffering, praying, praying for the something to be over. Six of Wands reversed. Now, this is no progress. 
there's no progress being made. Um, this is a loss of some sort. The six of this is a loss, losing a battle, giving up a fight. You know, um, this is a this is a unwelcome news. Perhaps no staying power. That's in, in your. There's somebody that something is not ending in victory. Okay, and that that makes sense with this card. There's there's a lack of victory in some sort of circumstance. Somebody is giving up the fight. They may and there could be some sort of illness here even. You know, this is giving up, no longer fighting. You know, it's lo it's a loss. It's, it's losing a battle of some sort. But there's a reason with the star card. Um, chariot, moving in a new direction, getting in the driver's seat, taking a journey, taking the high road, uh, taking charge of your life, facing opposition, facing your fears, moving forward with faith. So this is this is really good. It's really good. So after a loss, you will be headed towards victory. Okay, you're going to be taking charge, going someplace else. You are. Okay, this is this is taking a journey towards a better place. It's a time of transformation for you, accepting a loss of some sort. I think that you've been feeling empty and, and, and alone, and I feel like, you know, it's it's time for your new life. It's it's time for you to go in another direction, and that's what you're doing. Queen of Swords. This is a new perspective, seeing things differently. You may be you may be seeing things differently in the future. You're going to be probably gaining a new perspective. You may be realizing some sort of truth. Seeing something clearly. This is clarity. Gaining clarity. So yes, you're going to be gaining clarity this month. If you've been, you know, feeling lost and empty inside, there and there's been no progress, you are up, there's, there's something that is about to happen. There's movement. Movement is happening. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so this is... Hard work paying off. Security. Self-sufficient. Very independent energy. So we have independence here. Somebody may be, may be independent, very strong, very capable, very self-sufficient. Gaining some sort of abundance. There's abundance that is coming in. There is some sort of abundance coming in. There's clarity and abundance that is coming. You could be getting some sort of raise or you're getting some sort of, there could be even an inheritance here. There's or an increase in money for hard work. Somebody's hard work is about to pay off. We have a very independent, hardworking individual here who um, Is going to be receiving something. This person's going to be receiving something. Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands is about making a decision. What are they? What this person is going to be receiving some sort of reward or payout or something like that. It's success. It is success. But this Two of Wands. Somebody is looking at this person that is very self-sufficient and capable and strong and determined. This person is looking at this person, looking at this person's value. It's going to be very, very clear. It is. Anyway, the two of wands is being at a crossroads, making a choice, making a decision in regards to the future. Somebody has an, an opportunity. They see an opportunity. And I feel like they're about to step into unknown territory and leave something behind. This is a spur of the moment decision. So there is a spur of the moment decision to, I mean, this is a very independent energy. So somebody may be making a spur of the moment decision to, uh, well, this is a taking a new approach, coming up with a new idea. There could even be a new business idea for some of you. Some of you may be coming up with a new business idea and uh, running with it. If that's the case, I would say yes, go ahead and do it. But anyhow, anyhow, Two of Wands is a very, um, 
I feel like it's impulsive. I feel like it's an impulsive decision to leave something behind and go your own way. Somebody's going their own way. That's what it looks like to me. And there could be travel here, moving. But I think it's a very impulsive. It's an impulsive decision. It's almost like realizing that this situation doesn't complete you. You have the mental strength and the willpower and the determination to take control of your life and doing so. So somebody is going to be doing that. It's like the storm is over. Somebody is making a decision. They're making, and it is a, they are. They're definitely making a decision to, um, you know, this is a very independent, go their own way. Whether it's starting your own business or not, it could be. We have somebody here that has the skills to do their own thing. Very, very intelligent energy. And this is receiving clarity. Seeing very, very clearly that there's capability here. Very, a lot of strength. Now this is a card of gratitude as well. Being grateful. Somebody is, is making a decision, a spur of the moment decision to give something to somebody. But that's what it looks like to me. We have a heart, and maybe it's a job offer. I don't know. Very independent, independently owned and operated kind of energy. <laughs> But there's two paths, and this is making a choice to go your own way. So somebody is definitely making a choice to do their own thing, to go their own way. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about uh, receiving something. You're definitely going to be receiving something. But you're also going to be losing something. There could even be a winning here. Somebody may be winning something. They could, there could be a, a win, you know. Winning, I don't know if it's the lottery or what. A winning something. There could even be a sponsorship or a donation. Or charity. Somebody is going to be very generous. They see something. They're going to be making a very generous offer by the looks of things. It, it almost feels like something is being taken away and given to somebody else as well. And I, I hate to say that circumstances, but it feels like this is, this is a very clear decision. Somebody is making a very clear decision that something needs to end. It's draining. It's emotionally draining. It's mentally draining. It's painful. It's hurtful. It's emptiness. It's making them feel dead inside. It's time to make this difficult decision. Somebody's been at a crossroads. They've probably been stalling. You know, and now they just, it's like they get this spur of the moment situation, you know, the spur of the moment um, thought, you know what I mean? That they got to go, they got to go now. They got to just leave this in the past and they got to go now. Um, there is definitely some sort of offer that is coming in or, or winning or money or inheritance or gift or something or payout or raise or opportunity that's really going to give some bring somebody abundance that is coming in okay that's coming in the future it is it is a time of fertility it is a time of growth with this two of two of wands things are going to grow really 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 fast from here on out so if you have been in a situation where it has felt like a dead end and, and you decide to find your discipline to go in another direction and you decide to replace your fear with faith, you will be successful. This is guaranteed success. After some sort of strife, after some sort of loss, 
okay because the six of wands reverse is a loss okay there's some sort of setback or we have a very prideful smug cocky individual with an over over inflated ego that has been following the pack that really has no more fight and they're losing their ground you know they're 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 falling apart by the looks of things there's no staying power so there's there's this battle is over the fight is over the that's what I feel. I feel like the fight is over. Now you are going to be successful. Now you're going to be successful now that this battle is over. You're headed towards abundance. We have somebody here that hasn't been getting what they deserve. And now they're going to get what they deserve. Somebody's perspection, perspective is about to change. Their perspective is about to change in a very big way. The lover's reverse. There could be a separation here. There could be. The lover's reverse is a separation. Going your own way. Somebody is separating from somebody that they are not meant to be with. And I feel like they're getting something better in return. I mean, a lover's reverse is a separation, it's a conflict, it's disharmony, it's a disconnection, it's, it's detaching. It's detaching from a partner that uh, probably isn't meant to be. So yes, there's going to be a detachment here. And it's a sudden decision. It is very sudden I feel like there's going to be some expansion. Somebody, it's like somebody has the whole world in their hands and, you know, they, they see that there's a bigger, better opportunity after they've been in a dead end situation. This is the end of the dead end. There's another opportunity that is very clear. It's very clear. If you are single, you're single and you're watching this, you and you don't have a partner you've been in a separation and you've been getting crumbs from somebody there is something better that is coming you may be focused on your business you're focused on your job you're focused on yourself and you don't even see this person looking at you you don't see this person you know um considering you If you are in a coupled relationship, there absolutely could be a separation. This is definitely a time of transformation and forward movement. You are headed towards victory and success. You are about to take a journey. Okay, this is a journey. With the chariot card. Somebody could also be headed towards you. Maybe they're headed towards you. Maybe you've been praying for this person to arrive. Or you've been praying to go in this direction. Where your prayers are being answered. Okay. There is movement this week. Oh goodness gracious. On the bottom is the ace of pentacles. So that is, that is going down a new path. A path towards stability, security, abundance. This is a new home, a new business, a new job, a windfall, an inheritance, financial stability, as some sort of investment coming to fruition. This is a gift from God lifting you up. So yeah, you have a golden opportunity that is coming in this week. You manifested it. You asked for it. This is a yes answer. You will be accepted. Somebody's about to be accepted. Or they're about to get an offer that they asked for, you know, or they've been praying for. So, Aries, I feel like this week you are about to get some sort of payout, you know, whatever. And this payout could be something that you touch. It could be actually money. It could be a gift. It, whatever it is, it's something that leads you down a path. It may have something to do with a home, This is a new prosperity, right? Manifestation. May have something to do with property. 
whatever is happening it does come after a separation or that lover's card wouldn't be here that lover's card reversed this is detaching from a partnership because you're not getting what you deserve and heading in a new direction if you have been alone and you're not looking for somebody there could be a sudden arrival all of a sudden you know you've been hoping and praying for this arrival you've been hoping and praying well your prayers whatever this prayer is that you've been praying for it's about to be answered your prayers are about to be answered for some of you or most of you you're dealing with a dark woman this woman has a dark complexion or dark hair You're about to receive something that you prayed for. End of story. It could just be clarity. This is truth as well. So there's some sort of truth that is coming out. It could be truth about a partner. That helps you to make a decision. Whatever is happening, you are, you are getting the help that you asked for. Good luck.